Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joshua Janssen von Fieren, and I'm at the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering at Stellenbosch University. Today, I'm going to be talking about our work on optimized code switch language model data augmentation in four under resourced South African languages. Firstly, what is code switching? So code switching is the use of more than one language within or between sentences. And this is a common occurrence in multilingual countries such as South Africa. Here's an example of an English Isizulu code switch uh, with the translated version in the second row. And code switches are difficult to model because they occur sparsely compared to monolingual stretches of text. So therefore we have much less data to model the phenomenon from. In addition to this, they occur predominantly in spontaneously spoken speech and rarely in formal written text, which is the typical source for language model training data. And finally, code switches are domain related and depend heavily on the speaker. The dataset utilized in our work was compiled from South African soap opera episodes, and it is divided into four bilingual subcorpora composed of English and their respective Bantu language. The dataset itself is highly under resourced, so each training partition contains only between 32,000 and 52,000 tokens. Isizulu and Isikosa are agglutinative and conjunctively written, which results in many word types to model. This is between 7 and 10,000 for the two respective languages, which is high in proportion to the number of tokens in the training partitions. In addition to this, we have large out-of-domain monolingual corpora for each language and English, um, which contain between 230,000 and 471 million tokens. We employ a LSTM language model to generate text. This is accomplished by randomly sampling the final layer of the network, which has the dimensionality of the vocabulary and a softmax layer. In addition to this, in the softmax layer, we apply a heuristic temperature value, which allows us to tune the word probabilities predicted by the network. We propose the use of prompting to generate code switch sequences. This is accomplished by replacing the start sequence token of all sequences which contain code switches by a unique code switch start sequence token, while monolingual sequences are prepended by a monolingual start sequence token. Then, during text synthesis, we can supply the model with the code switch start sequence token, and we found that this increased the proportion of synthesized sequences that contained code switches from 32% to 87.6%. In addition to this, we utilize ablation, in which we either maintain all the sequences which the model generates, or we can discard all the monolingual sequences, thereby only maintaining the code switch sequences generated by the model. In our work, we found that training tool convergence on the development set did not produce the best text when used for engram augmentation. Therefore, we've designed a three-phase hyperparameter tuning strategy in which the first phase we optimize the embedding and recurrent dimensions as well as the batch size and the number of epochs. This is accomplished by training 20 LSTM language models, utilizing them to generate 8,000 sequences. These are used to train n-gram language models which, from which we obtain perplexity results on the development set. Then in our second phase, we can optimize the text generation strategy either by using the prompting or the ablative strategies as well as optimizing the temp heuristic temperature value. Then in our final phase three, we utilize the out of domain monolingual corpora to obtain final augmented engrams. We found that our language models, which incorporated the synthesized data, reduced test set code switch perplexity, that is perplexity measured directly over code switches, by between 6.8 and 19.9% relative to the baseline. We found that our language models, which incorporated the synthesized data, also improved in terms of overall word error rate, as well as code switch bigram error, that is the speech recognition error directly over code switches. We found that the reduction in code switch error achieved by our language models incorporating the synthesized data is not achieved by incorporating only the monolingual data. And the language models which incorporated the monolingual data chiefly reduce the English word error rate, which is often at the expense of the Bantu performance. This emphasizes the importance of obtaining more code switch data, which we achieved here through synthesis. Thank you.